Hola and welcome to Pro Spanish. We're going to get started straight away so that you can see just how easy it is to learn Spanish quickly. And more advanced subscribers may want to skip straight forward to the time frame that's on the screen now. Uh, otherwise, you can stick with us for the extra practice. Okay, I'm going to start by introducing some of our target language. Uh, it's important to stress that you don't need to try to remember any of this. As the lesson develops, you'll find yourself retaining more and more of this language. Okay, so we're going to begin with ir al banco, to go to the bank. Banco, bank. Ir al banco, to go to the bank. Ir a la playa. Ir a la playa, to go to the Beach, ir a la playa, to go to the beach. Ir al supermercado. I bet you can guess that one. Ir al supermercado, to go to the supermarket. Ir al supermercado, to go to the supermarket. Our next to-do word or infinitive is jugar al fútbol. Jugar al fútbol, to play football. Jugar al fútbol. I'm not going to list them all here, but there's a lot of other guessable sports. Jugar al rugby, to play rugby. Jugar al tenis, to play tennis. Next, we're going to have hacer algo diferente. Hacer algo diferente is to do something different. Hacer algo importante is to do something important. Hablar, to speak. Think of blah, 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 speaking. Hablar, to speak. Salir, to go out. To sally forth, salir, to go out. Again, don't try to remember these. We're just going through them at the moment. Now let's see how we could begin our sentences. We'll start off with quiero, I want. So quiero, not quiero, quiero, I want. Let's have one other one. Puedo, puedo is I can, puedo, I can. So, quiero, I want, and puedo, I can. Let's just see what term we could make so far. So, what do you think this means? Quiero ir al supermercado. Quiero ir al supermercado. What does that mean, do you think? I want to go to the supermarket. Quiero ir al supermercado. How about this? Puedo Salir. Puedo salir. Puedo salir is I can go out. Looks like it's saying I can to go out, but we would say I can go out. Puedo salir. Okay, let's add in two more. I'm going to. I'm going to is voy a. Voy a. I'm going to. And acabo de. Acabo de is used to say, I've just, and then done something. In Spanish, it's I've just to do, whatever it is. I've just to go to the bank. But we would say, I've just been to the bank. I've just gone to the bank. I've just acabo de. So what do you think this means? We'll look at voy a and acabo de now. Voy a hacer algo Diferente. Voy a hacer algo diferente. What does that mean? I'm going to do something different. Voy a hacer algo diferente. And how about Acabo de jugar al fútbol. Acabo de jugar al fútbol. What does that mean? I've just played football. It looks like we're saying I've just to play football. 
but we would say I've just played football. Acabo de jugar al fútbol. Okay, let's do two more. Suelo. Suelo is I tend to do something. It's what I usually do. I tend to. Suelo. And tengo que is I have to. Tengo is I have, but when we're using it as I must or I have to, tengo que. Don't worry if you're feeling overwhelmed by the amount of language here. Just go with the flow and follow the instructions that I give. So tengo que, I have to, and suelo, I tend to. So what do you think this means? Suelo salir. And maybe if we had... Um, on Saturdays, for example, suelo salir. On Saturdays, I tend to go out on Saturdays. We'll come to some time phrases in a minute. So, suelo salir. I tend to go out. Suelo ir a la playa. What does that mean? Suelo ir a la playa. I tend to go to the beach. How about... Tengo que ir al banco. Tengo que ir al banco. What does that mean? I have to go to the bank. I have to go to the bank. Okay, two more. Me gustaría is I would like. Me gustaría, I would like. So, me gustaría hacer algo. Diferente. What would that be? I'd like to do something different. And decidí is a past phrase, past word. And it's I decided. Decidí. I decided. Decidí. So what would it mean if I said decidí? Hacer algo importante. Decidí hacer algo importante. I decided to do something important. Decidí hacer algo importante. And let's have a look at our final. So we've got contigo is with you. Contigo with you. And con Pablo, with Pablo. Con Pablo. So, contigo, with you. Con Pablo, with Pablo. How would you say, just using these last two columns, how would you say, to go to the beach with you? What would that be? Ir a la playa contigo. Ir a la playa contigo. To go to the beach with you. Mañana is tomorrow. Mañana, tomorrow. What would it mean if I said Hacer algo diferente mañana? To do something different tomorrow. And our last one, our final one is Al final. Al final. In the end. In the final. Al final. In the end. What would it mean if I said salir al final? Salir al final. To go out in the end. To go out in the end. And there's just one thing left to add. And that is the word no. No. Because we can change all of these phrases to negative phrases by adding no. So, quiero is I want. I don't want is no quiero. Puedo is I can. I can't is no puedo. Really easy. What do you think it would mean if I said no voy a? No voy a. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. What would it mean if I said, 
no suelo, no suelo. I don't tend to, whatever. How would you say, I wouldn't like to, I wouldn't like. No me gustaría, no me gustaría. So nice and straightforward. And we'll just take a quick pause there while I mention our very popular Levels 1 to 6 course. This takes the complete beginner or a near beginner right up to a conversational level of Spanish in a series of very easy to follow steps. All the lessons on this YouTube channel are supplementary, whereas the core Levels 1 to 6 is very much a step-by-step -step program delivered by the same teacher as all the other videos on the Pro Spanish YouTube channel. And while the style is very similar to what you'll be used to from these videos on the channel, the key difference is that every lesson carefully builds on the previous lessons so that you can really feel that progress of going from very little or no Spanish up to a level where you can confidently hold a conversation in Spanish. So again, that's available exclusively from prospanish.co.uk. Okay, during this next phase, look at the grid and listen and try to follow along the grid and work out what is being said. You'll hear the phrase three times. Quiero ir al banco mañana. Quiero ir al banco mañana. Quiero ir al banco mañana. I want to go to the bank tomorrow. Voy a Jugar al fútbol con Pablo. Voy a jugar al fútbol con Pablo. Voy a jugar al fútbol con Pablo. I'm going to play football with Pablo. Tengo que hacer algo importante contigo. Tengo que hacer algo importante contigo. Tengo que hacer algo importante contigo. I have to do something important with you. Decidí hacer algo Diferente con Pablo. Decidí hacer algo diferente con Pablo. Decidí hacer algo diferente con Pablo. I decided to do something different with Pablo. Suelo ir al submercado con Pablo. Suelo ir al supermercado con Pablo. Suelo ir al supermercado con Pablo. I tend to go to the supermarket with Pablo. Puedo ir a la playa mañana. Puedo ir a la playa mañana. Puedo ir a la playa mañana. I can go to the beach tomorrow. No quiero salir contigo. No quiero salir contigo. No quiero salir contigo. No salir contigo. I don't want to go out with you. I don't want to go out with you. Me gustaría ir a la playa contigo. Me gustaría ir a la playa contigo. Me gustaría ir a la playa contigo. I'd like to go to the beach with you. Okay, next, have a look at this 
pyramid, listen, and try to work out what is being said. So the translation. As we move down, the phrase from above gets repeated, but with an extra element added on. So it builds up. Okay, so just listen. And obviously, if you're at home, it would be good to write this down, but it's fine to do it in your head. Quiero. Quiero ir a la playa. Quiero ir a la playa mañana. Okay, so by the end there, you should have had, I want to go to the beach tomorrow. Let's try another one. Suelo, suelo ir al supermercado. Suelo ir al supermercado con Pablo. Okay, so our last part there was suelo ir al supermercado con Pablo. I tend to go to the supermarket with Pablo. Another one. No puedo. No puedo salir. No puedo salir mañana. And our final part was No puedo salir mañana. I can't go out tomorrow. Try this one. Decidí. Decidí hacer algo diferente. Decidí hacer algo diferente al final. Repeat that last bit. Decidí hacer algo diferente al final. I decided to do something different in the end. Have a look at this sentence on the screen now. Quiero hablar contigo. I want to speak with you. I want to speak to you. Quiero hablar contigo. And now the sentence has gone and we're just going to count uno, dos, tres, one, two, three. Can you remember what the sentence was that was on the screen? It was, quiero hablar contigo. I want to speak to you. Okay, let's try that again. Tengo que hacer algo importante mañana. Tengo que hacer algo importante mañana. So I have to do something important tomorrow. Have a look at the sentence. And it's gone. And we'll count uno, dos, tres. And what was the phrase? Tengo que hacer algo importante mañana. Okay, let's try one more like that. Me gustaría ir a la playa contigo. I'd like to go to the beach with you. Me gustaría ir a la playa contigo. And just study it for a second. And it's gone. Uno, dos, tres. What was the sentence? Me gustaría ir a la playa contigo. I'd like to go to the beach with you. We're going to go back to the pyramid technique now, but this time you're going to be producing some language. Say it out loud if you're in a position to do this. So, I'm going to. Voy a. Down to the next level. 
I'm going to go out. Voy a salir. Next level. I'm going to go out with Pablo. Voy a salir con Pablo. I'm going to go out with Pablo in the end. Voy a salir con Pablo al final. And let's say that last phrase again. Voy a salir con Pablo al final. I'm going to go out with Pablo in the end. Okay, let's try another one. I want. Quiero. I want to do something different. Quiero hacer algo diferente. I want to do something different with Maria. Quiero hacer algo diferente con Maria. I want to do something different with Maria tomorrow. Quiero hacer algo diferente con María mañana. And the last sentence again. Quiero hacer algo diferente con María mañana. And let's really challenge ourselves with the next one. In the end. Al final. In the end, I can't. Al final, no puedo. In the end, I can't go to the beach. Al final, no puedo ir a la playa. In the end, I can't go to the beach tomorrow. Al final, no puedo ir a la playa mañana. In the end, I can't go to the beach tomorrow, comma, I have to, al final, no puedo ir a la playa mañana. Tengo que, in the end, I can't go to the beach tomorrow, I have to do something important. Al final, no puedo ir a la playa mañana. Tengo que hacer algo importante. In the end, I can't go to the beach tomorrow. I have to do something important with Pablo. Al final... No puedo ir a la playa mañana. Tengo que hacer algo importante con Pablo. Let's try that again. Al final, no puedo ir a la playa mañana. Tengo que hacer algo importante con Pablo. Okay, we're going to go back to our initial grid now. Uh, I'm going to ask you to produce some sentences. If you can, try to do it without looking at the grid. But of course, we've squeezed an awful lot into this lesson. So you may still need to have a quick peek to remind yourself. So how would we say, I'm going to play football with Pablo. And of course, pause the video to give yourself some thinking time if you need it. Voy a jugar al fútbol con Pablo. Voy a jugar al fútbol con Pablo. How about... I have to do something important in the end. Tengo que hacer algo importante al final. Tengo que hacer algo importante al final. 
I'd like to speak to you, or with you. Me gustaría hablar contigo. Me gustaría hablar contigo. I decided to go out with Pablo in the end. Decidí salir con Pablo al final. Decidí salir con Pablo al final. I tend to go to the bank on Mondays. I tend to go to the bank on Mondays. And on Mondays is just los lunes. Los lunes. So I tend to go to the bank on Mondays. Suelo ir al banco los lunes. Suelo ir al banco los lunes. And let's finish on a tricky one. I can't go to the beach with you tomorrow. I have to go to the bank. What would that be? No puedo ir a la playa contigo mañana. Tengo que ir al banco. No puedo ir a la playa contigo mañana. Tengo que ir al banco. Okay, so you should have seen in this lesson just how quickly it's possible to learn Spanish. And before we move on to the advanced part of this lesson, just a reminder that prospanish.co.uk is the site to go to, the official site, to download the Levels 1 to 6 course. Okay, we'll start with some conjunctions, some connecting phrases. Uh, as I mentioned earlier in the video, there's no need to try to memorize this. Uh, you'll pick it up as we go. So we're going to start off with a menos que. A menos que is unless. And you can see the less in menos. So a menos que unless. Con tal de que. Con tal de que is provided that. Con tal de que provided that. Para que, looks like it's for that, it means so that. Para que, so that, para que. And antes de que is before, antes de que, before. And we'll go straight to connecting these conjunctions with some verbs. Now, all of these, unless provided that, so that, and before, they will always be followed by the subjunctive. Okay, and in this case, we're going to use the present tense. So it'll be the present subjunctive. And we're going to use a set that has a pattern so that these will be easy to remember for you. So the first thing we're going to look at is vengan a ayudar. Vengan a ayudar. They come to help. They come to help. Vengan a ayudar. So we could say, unless they come to help, a menos que vengan a ayudar. Okay, our next one is, tengan algo que hacer. Tengan algo que hacer. They have something to do. They have something to do. And we could say, so that they have something to do. Para que tengan algo que hacer. And then we'll have, lo hagan. Lo hagan, they do it. Lo hagan. Next, a straightforward one. Salgan. Salgan. They go out. They go out. Salgan. And traigan las bebidas. Very important. They bring the drinks. 
traigan las bebidas. So we could say provided that they bring the drinks. Con tal de que traigan las bebidas. Okay, how would you say so that they do it? Para que lo hagan. Para que lo hagan. How about before they have something to do? Antes de que tengan algo que hacer. Antes de que tengan algo que hacer. Okay, this isn't our main practice. We're going to add something at the beginning. We're going to have lo haremos. We'll do it. Lo haremos. We'll do it. And we'll have los llamaré. Los llamaré. I'll call them. Los llamaré. I'll call them. Okay, for this next segment of the video, you just need to listen and to try to follow across using the grid and to work out what it means, what the phrase means. Okay, you'll hear it a couple of times. Lo haremos con tal de que traigan las bebidas. Lo haremos con tal de que traigan las bebidas. We'll do it provided that they bring the drinks. Los llamaré a menos que tengan algo que hacer. Los llamaré a menos que tengan algo que hacer. I'll call them unless they have something to do. Lo haremos para que salgan. Lo haremos para que salgan. We'll do it so that they go out. Lo haremos antes de que vengan a ayudar. Lo haremos antes de que vengan a ayudar. We'll do it before they come to help. Los llamaré para que vengan a ayudar. Los llamaré para que vengan a ayudar. I'll call them so that they come to help. No lo haremos a menos que vengan a ayudar. No lo haremos a menos que vengan a ayudar. We won't do it unless they come to help. No los llamaré antes de que salgan. No los llamaré antes de que salgan. I won't call them before they go out. Okay, now this next part is pyramid listening. So it's going to start and it's going to build up. But what you need to do is to listen. Uh, if you're at home, you can write this down. But listen and work out what is being said as it builds up. Los llamaré. Los llamaré para qué. Los llamaré para que traigan las bebidas. And the last line again. Los llamaré para que traigan las bebidas. Next one. Lo haremos. Lo haremos con tal de que. Lo haremos con tal de que salgan. And I'll repeat the last line. Lo haremos con tal de que salgan. Okay, how about this one? Lo haremos. Lo haremos antes de que. Lo haremos antes de que vengan a ayudar. Lo haremos antes de que vengan 
a ayudar. Ok, last one. No lo haremos. No lo haremos a menos que. No lo haremos a menos que vengan a ayudar. Again, no lo haremos a menos que vengan a ayudar. Okay, let's do it the other way around now. So you're going to try to say the phrases in the pyramid. So let's begin with, I'll call them. Los llamaré. I'll call them before. Los llamaré antes de que. I'll call them before they have something to do. Los llamaré antes de que tengan algo que hacer. Okay, try that last phrase again. Los llamaré antes de que tengan algo que hacer. Okay, another one. We'll do it. Lo haremos. We'll do it so that. Lo haremos para que. We'll do it so that they come to help. Lo haremos para que vengan a ayudar. Lo haremos para que vengan a ayudar. Okay, let's try this one. We won't do it. No lo haremos. We won't do it unless. No lo haremos a menos que. We won't do it unless they bring the drinks. No lo haremos a menos que traigan las bebidas. Okay, we're going to return to our grid now. If at all possible, look away and try to create the sentences independently. But of course, we've squeezed quite a lot into this uh, short time, so it's fine to take a peek if you need to. Okay, how would you say, I'll call them so that they go out? Los llamaré para que salgan. Los llamaré para que salgan. We'll do it, provided that they have something to do. Lo haremos con tal de que tengan algo que hacer. Lo haremos con tal de que tengan algo que hacer. We won't do it unless they bring the drinks. No lo haremos a menos que traigan las bebidas. No lo haremos a menos que traigan las bebidas. I'll call them so that they do it. Los llamaré para que lo hagan. Los llamaré para que lo hagan. I'll call them so that they come to help. Los llamaré para que vengan a ayudar. Los llamaré para que vengan a ayudar. We'll do it before they go out. Lo haremos antes de que salgan. Lo haremos antes de que salgan. And that concludes today's pro-Spanish lesson. So if you're looking to become a confident and a competent speaker of Spanish, head over to prospanish.co.uk where you can download the full levels one to